Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with John Needham from SunGuard. John, what is your job title? My title is uh, Vice President of Adaptive Sales uh, within the capital market segment within SunGuard. So you have gone through a very significant transformation of your sales force. How has that transformation affected you and your job? The insight selling message and training that we all received has really enabled uh, my team and, and myself for that matter to go out and have uh, more of a value-based conversation with our prospects and our customers around the services and products that, that SunGuard can provide. I think in the past, uh, there was too much emphasis and too much focus on selling individual products. Whereas now we're going in and we're selling and bundling solutions that span the entire enterprise. So what did you originally think of the idea to create a brand at SunGuard way of selling approach? Well, I think it was imperative in that um, SunGuard historically has been a collection of companies uh, within uh, a holding and company approach. And therefore, every uh, individual and every business unit and every group for that matter within the company had their own unique way of doing things. And that translated into the way that, uh, that people sold. Uh, now, having sort of the SunGuard way of doing things um, reinforces the fact that we're standardizing the message, standardizing the sales tools that we have, which is you know, clearly why uh, our senior management decided to, to roll this program out. So when you look at the differences with, between what happened 18 months ago and what is happening today, how would you describe those differences? I think the, the, the biggest difference today is that people are, are more keen to collaborate amongst the various different sales organizations and product groups within the company. If you roll the clock back 18 months ago, there was some element of collaboration, but now I would say that people are more receptive to collaboration because they can see a couple of things. One is what is in it for, for them as an individual contributor, and um, number two is they can start to see sort of tangible results, uh, which obviously lead to, you know, higher commission figures for them. So how does that impact your job? Well, for, for starters, I think it makes it much easier for, for sales leaders like myself because when you've got a standard way of doing things, a standard way of, of, of reporting sales figures, a standard way of delivering um, a, a C-level message, it makes it much easier for the individual contributor because it's not as if this is these are things that I'm coming up with and I'm trying to impose on people. It's really a, a set of standards that is being rolled out corporate on a corporate-wide basis. It's not just as simple as just rolling out a, a platform and a program. It's also being reinforced by our senior leaders, which I think you know helps to solidify the message and also it resonates much easier with the sales force. How did you measure the changes and uh, what was the impact? There's a real focus and emphasis on uh, putting our customers first and revenue retention. And then the other is the, the focus on organic revenue growth, which really means that we need to, need to innovate and we need to bring our product uh, suite forward. I think if you, if you contrast how we went about our business 18 months ago compared to what we're doing today, I think you're seeing a lot of the senior sales leaders stand up and get directly involved in, in sort of product strategy roadmaps, as well as being directly held accountable for um, not only the sales results from a incremental, you know, quarter by quarter basis, but also for sales uh, results and customer retention going forward. So what are you saying? You have a, a more predictable process, and uh, you can hold people accountable and there's more transparency, is that correct? I, I would say that that sums it up quite well. What do you see in the future? We're starting to see improved sales performance, um, more investment, direct investment going back into our product line, which of course will manifest itself in, in, in much higher sales results. So what have you learned from this change management moving forward? How do you plan to uh, change and adjust the organization in the future? Well, I think uh, one of the things I learned at a very early age in, in high school, as a matter of fact, is that um, you need to embrace change and change is a good thing. We have to continuously improve the organization and look to ways to improve the organization. And um, you know that means looking after our customers and driving the product uh, and our solutions uh, forward.
It sounds like what I'm hearing is that uh, the nature of the conversation has changed. You've become a more customer-focused organization. Um, not only have we, um, you know, started to focus on the customers' needs, sort of in the short term, medium term, and long term, but it, by partnering with them and, and demonstrating to them that we're not in the hit run business, we're in it for the long term. They have felt more comfortable sharing their. Uh, strategy, their medium to long term strategy, and asked us to come in and help them uh, with that. And what that leads to is a more predictable revenue stream over the longer term. Thank you for sharing your insights. Well, thank you, Gerhard.